Miss Strange wanted a really big conference table to fit in as many people around the table as possible. And I think it was really important to Secretary Strange that the furniture that was going into this conference room was something that wasn't purchased from an outside manufacturer or one of our vendors, that it was really designed, engineered, manufactured within our correctional industries operations to really showcase the skills and abilities of the incarcerated individuals. We come up with the concept of a design and then it goes to Stafford Creek Correction Center where the engineering department will create all those parts and components all the way down to the nuts and bolts. It just shows what we do, how important our job is. It is a custom piece. Each time a new order comes in and a new product is generated, and these individuals are building that self-confidence and, and the self-esteem and finding skills and abilities that they might not have known they had before. I don't think you can put a price on the education that we provide. I do really appreciate this job. I love coming to work because it's it's like stepping outside of prison. I come in here, it's professional. I have my teammates that we work well together. It's also the most normal part of my day. This is like being out in the real world and having a real job with office skills, learning how to behave in an office, teaching others. So it's, it's really rewarding. And while they're in the department, a lot of them, they're identified by their DOC number. They're identified sometimes by what their crime was. But for these individuals, right, they start identifying themselves differently. I'm a CNC operator. I'm a drafter. I run the finishing room. I'm a welder. I'm a fabricator. I'm a powder coater. How we see ourselves really changes on how we're going to act. It'll definitely help somebody get out there and, and have trades be able to go somewhere and apply at a job and say you have experience doing this or that. It makes you feel like you're working at a real job as opposed to being in prison here at Cedar Creek. You get to go all over the place and get to install stuff and they don't treat you like an inmate. They don't treat you like you're a bad person. They treat you like you're one of them. CI has a very wonderful program for finding jobs. Getting a job early on can be a huge protective factor against recidivism. What I know now and the skills that I have here, I really think that I can be out there and be successful.